Another blow to college sports as the assistant basketball coach of Syracuse, Bernie Fine, faces child molestation allegations dating back to 1984. Fine is now on administrative leave as police investigate that case. And those accusa accusations come as Penn State continues to deal with the arrest of former defensive coordinator Jerry Sandusky. He's accused of sexually molesting eight boys over a 15-year period. Joining us this morning is George Collins. He's author of Breaking the Cycle, Freeing Yourself from Sex Addiction, Porn Obsession, and Shame. The question, of course, um, is whether someone who has a sex addiction, uh, addiction is a pedophile, mm -hmm. or is a pedophile just someone with a sex addiction? You know, I mean, the latter. You, the latter. The latter. You okay. got it. Right, mm -hmm. right. So there's plenty of people that are addicted to all kinds of sex, everything you could imagine. Mm -hmm. the, the Doesn't necessarily make them a pedophile. No, no, no. Some people get hooked up when they're younger. Um, as I've told you know, the other news people before, if we could hear Jerry Sandusky's story, even though we were, were it's despicable, uh, we would understand. Mm -hmm. If we could hear, if you could hear his story, all of us would be crying because something happened to Jerry when he was a kid or he wouldn't be that way, we weren't born that way. Mm -hmm. uh, I would assume that the internet has caused a huge explosion mm -hmm. in, in addiction to sex and Absolutely. pornography. Like crack cocaine. Mm -hmm. I mean, getting calls from kids as young as 11 years old. It's uh, terrifying to, to start to think of. So you mentioned uh, with Jerry Sandusky, it could have been something that happened to him as a child. In fact, I think they'd said pedophilias oftentimes are For also sure. abused as For children. Sure. So what are the drivers uh, that create the sex addiction? Uh, usually uh, the, the main drivers seem to be some sort of uh, problem in the house. Alcohol, drugs, physical abuse, sex, sexual abuse, of course. Uh, Pedophilia, most of my people that are that call with pedophilia uh, have been abused physically mm -hmm. by their uh, m by their primary caregivers, mm -hmm. whether that means mom and dad or Uncle Charlie or the teacher at school with someone in their life that has done this similar to what Jerry did to those kids Accused where they tr trusted really. caregiver. Right. <laughs> you are you are a recovering addict. I am of, of sex of addict. Sex. Yeah, porn. Lost two wives over it. Yeah. yeah. And what Didn't, made you change? Uh, let's see. I guess, I, guess I, I, I lost my second wife. Now, it wasn't over the porn. It was of the inability to be intimate. Mm -hmm. You know, as a kid, like mm -hmm. most of us, I grew up thinking about girls, and then, then the words came, and the sure. kids in the block, and the kids in, in, in the, in the, in the, uh, 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 in the locker rooms were talking, and they weren't talking about how sweet Jenny was. They were talking about how sweet what her body was and so I picked it up and picked it up and picked it up and, and I came from a home where there was physical there was sexual abuse by my mother to me and there was physical abuse a lot of beatings by my father now we lived in a fancy house and looked good but it, it uh, plus it, it wasn't was, talked about then no no I never had the talk I don't think I've ever had a man in 15 or 20 years that have done this is that, that parents have ever had any kind of talk mm -hmm. the talk about sex and about intimacy and and, and the problem is that ro uh, intimacy is not role modeled by a lot of people so and in fact if you're looking for some way to prevent or deter it sounds mm -hmm. to me that in this society in which they don't mm -hmm. want to teach sex, mm -hmm. sex education in the schools that's part of the problem better do it at home Mm -hmm. We have a service that uh, at, at Compulsion Solutions where a people, clinic that you operate for right, the past right, 15 years. Right, yeah. right, right. We do telephone work, and and uh, uh, our website is compulsionsolutions.com. And I encourage anybody that's uh, that's uh, that's messy, uh, uh, call us. Just mm -hmm. call call me. I will personally talk to anybody okay. for just to just to get them going. So it won't be like a Jerry Sandusky. If you're out there thinking I ought to do this, then don't. Thanks. Call. The book is called Breaking the Cycle by George Collins. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us.